Welcome back to The Disco, FDA's Drug Information Soundcast in Clinical Oncology, First Edition, brought to you by FDA's Division of Drug Information in partnership with FDA's Oncology Center of Excellence. Today, we'll provide another quick update on a recent FDA cancer drug approval. On May 4, 2022, the FDA approved Famtrastuzumab, Deruxtecan, and XKI, brand name and HER2, for adult patients with unresectable or metastatic HER2-positive breast cancer who have received a prior anti-HER2-based regimen either in the metastatic setting or in the neoadjuvant or adjuvant setting and have developed disease recurrence during or within six months of completing therapy. In December 2019, Famtrastuzumab, Deruxtecan, and XKI received accelerated approval for adult patients with unresectable or metastatic HER2-positive breast cancer who have received two or more prior anti-HER2-based regimens in the metastatic setting. The following trial was the confirmatory trial for the accelerated approval. Efficacy was based on Destiny Breast 03, a multi-center, open-label, randomized trial that enrolled 524 patients with HER2-positive, unresectable, and or metastatic breast cancer who received prior trastuzumab and taxane therapy for metastatic disease or developed disease recurrence during or within six months of completing neoadjuvant or adjuvant therapy. Patients were randomized one-to-one to receive either an HER2 or adotrastuzumab emtansine by intravenous infusion every three weeks until unacceptable toxicity or disease progression. Randomization was stratified by hormone receptor status, prior treatment with pertuzumab, and history of visceral disease. The main efficacy outcome measure was progression-free survival as assessed by Blinded Independent Central Review based on RESYST version 1.1. Overall survival and confirmed objective response rate were the key secondary outcome measures. Median progression-free survival was not reached in the inher 2 arm and 6.8 months in the adotrastuzumab emtansine arm. The hazard ratio was 0.28. At the time of the progression-free survival analysis, 16% of patients had died and overall survival was immature. The objective response rate based on the patients with measurable disease assessed by Blinded Independent Central Review at baseline was 82.7% in the NHER2 arm and 36.1% for those receiving adotrastuzumab emtansine. The prescribing information includes a boxed warning to advise health professionals of the risk of interstitial lung disease and embryo-fetal toxicity. This review was conducted under Project Orbis, an initiative of the FDA Oncology Center of Excellence. Project Orbis provides a framework for concurrent submission and review of oncology drugs among international partners. The application reviews may be ongoing at the other regulatory agencies. This review used the Real-Time Oncology Review Pilot Program, which streamlined data submission prior to the filing of the entire clinical application, and the Assessment Aid, a voluntary submission from the applicant to facilitate the FDA's assessment. Full prescribing information for these approvals can be found on the web at fda.gov slash drugs at FDA. Healthcare professionals should report serious adverse events to FDA's MedWatch reporting program at fda.gov slash medwatch. Follow the Division of Drug Information on Twitter at FDA Drug Info and the Oncology Center of Excellence at FDA Oncology. Send your feedback via email to fdaoncology at fda.hhs.gov. Thanks for tuning in to the Disco Burst Edition.